Hello, DCT family. Hope you're doing great. Today, we move to one if not the most widely used dosage form, which is tablets. Tablets are defined by the pharmacopoeia as solid dosage forms containing medicinal substances with or without suitable diluents. So they are solid products of medicinal agents only or medicinal agents with suitable diluents or additives and we will detail the different excipients or additives or diluents that can be used in tablet formulations later in this series. If I ask you to recall an image of tablet, I think each one of you might have a different one. And that actually reflects the various shapes, colors, and even routes of administrations uh, tablets can have. Actually, tablets come with different physical attributes depending on their intended use, but generally we see the conventional tablets most often, which are meant to be swallowed intact. We might also come across chewable tablets, which are, as the name implies, chewed before being swallowed. There are also the sublingual tablets and those are held under the tongue and a famous example of those tablets are the nitroglycerin tablets. Well, these are all examples of tablets and there are several more. Write in the comments what type of tablet crossed your mind while I was listing the different examples and we will provide a list of the different tablet types later in this series. So now we know generally what tablets are and what they look like or specifically how some might look like. Let's think about the advantages and disadvantages of using them. Well, the pros of tablets include, first, their convenience to use. Wandering around with tablets cannot be compared with a bottle of the same drug in a solution form. The latter is bulky and requires a special attention if it's a container that might break. A second thing that tablets can offer, and it will make more sense later, is that tablets can be formulated to produce different release patterns in terms of rate, duration and site of release. And that's something that serves lots of things including the ability for specific targeting and increasing patient compliance or adherence to medication. Additionally, more than one medicinal substance or drug can be formulated in one tablet, even if they are not compatible and that again can boost therapeutic outcomes. Generally, tablets are not expensive to manufacture, especially the conventional ones. They are also more stable in terms of physical, chemical and microbiological stability. You can identify tablets by the markings on their surface and this can be in some cases life-saving. With two white tablets having marks on them, you know which is which easily. Think of the advantages of tablets through the different stages of their manufacturing makes it easier to identify them. I know it might be daunting to memorize the advantages, but if you think of them through the different stages of the manufacturing of tablets, it becomes easy for you not to memorize but to spot the advantages of tablets. Starting from manufacturer to patient, first, tablets are expensive easy to manufacture dosage forms. Regarding what goes into tablets, they offer great variety when it comes to number and the release rate of medicinal agents incorporated in their formulation. After the manufacturing stage, they remain stable for longer periods than other dosage forms. And they are more convenient to handle and easier to identify by patients 
more than other or most of other dosage forms. Tell us more advantages you know for tablets in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss any of the great things coming. And as always, till next time, stay fabulous wherever you are.